hello everyone how's everyone doing thank you so much guys for liking and watching my previous vlogs so i recently traveled uh, to north of pakistan and uh, i will take you through my vlogs we'll do uh, different vlogs based on that this is a very exciting flight we traveled on actually one of the what you can say is the best flight uh, the most scenic flight that you call that's from islamabad to skardu it's a northern part of pakistan uh, we checked in early in the morning um, the flight was on time it was really nice arrived at airport it's a domestic flight so not uh, very crowded the plane that they are operating is uh, 320 that's basically a leased airplane from um, i guess from lebanon um, but it's been operated under this uh, livery or oh, not from the paa but from the third party uh, the good thing is that they used to fly this ATRs before. I went to Gilgit last time and we flew this small ATR plane. But this was actually quite a unique experience. It was 320, quite a bigger than usual uh, aircraft. Pakistan is in a in kind of on a way to promote its tourism. And they are bringing a lot of uh, positive changes into bringing the tourism into Pakistan. So they started operating this flight from Dubai. They started operating flight with these 320s to give a nice comfort. The flight was really on time, actually five minutes ahead of their scheduled time. Uh, very nice cabin crew. You have really nice food. Uh, it's 45 minutes ride, but uh, I was surprised they were still serving some snacks and some drinks in the flight, which is quite nice gesture. Quite a short taxi and then we took off. Right after we take off, it's 45 minutes flight, so you have to fly over all these beautiful mountains and i was seated on the right side of the plane so if you happen to go to this part of skardu you make sure you choose the seats on the right side of the airplane for going and on the same side basically to come back because both ways you will have these beautiful and marvelous mountain views uh, this was uh, a chicken sandwich that you see on the right with some olive bread uh, surprisingly it was quite nice the bread was really soft um, i mean i'm i'm really thankful that they served something in the morning and then had the breakfast so it was quite a nice treat with the uh, with the drink uh, they do only cold drinks there's no tea coffee service on this flight which is understandable but they did a tremendous job and like literally finished the service in 10 15 minutes the most important part of the flight is basically this scenic views it was quite cloudy um, usually when i traveled to gilgit last time i saw the spectacular views and some valleys down but apparently on this flight it was very cloudy all the way but we still managed to capture some beautiful views uh, on my right you will see further and ahead uh, you will see a nanga parbat nice majesty mountain with the nice beautiful covered with some snow and but still it was cloudy but still not bad Going into Skardu is basically a different feeling itself. The The area is located in north part of Pakistan, which is surrounded by the mountains, beautiful nature, a lot of lakes, a lot of untouched landscape and the beauty, a uh, lot of different places to see, a lot of untouched, beautiful valleys that you can explore. So this was my like four uh, days trip to Skardu. I'll take you through the, on a different day what activities we did. Uh, where did we go where did we stay and everything that will be covered in this vlog so it took about 40 45 minutes um, the sandwich was nice and then we just almost uh, it was time to land you literally close for about 20 minutes and then it's time for you to start descending into skardu and you see the mountains all around the this is actually one of the difficult airport that you land on because um, you basically require a lot of skills because you have to go through a different curves you have to take a different detours and pass through the mountains and it has to be the pilots are super skilled and uh, they're they're kind of expert and i guess if i'm not mistaken there are some of them who are very dedicated to this route only or some other gilgit route as well so they are aware about the surrounding the weather changing the weather can be changed anytime and drastically so you see how beautiful and how scenic is that to landing into skardu with these beautiful mountains all around and the airport itself is a beauty it's a small airport airport but still uh, there's a new runway that's been recently opened 
and um, it's it's really it's tremendous and it's taking those a320 which is rice and beautiful you see the mountains all around it's a different feeling once you land in this part of the world it was time to disembark and uh, yeah there is a bus that takes you to the terminal but before that everyone is just so mesmerized with the beauty and you see the surroundings all around um the temperature is definitely different than what you get to have on islamabad or another part of pakistan is slightly on the colder side and it gets cold about 15 16 degrees in the night and during the day it's a little bit warmer towards 22 23 and i was just mesmerized with the beauty uh, of this airport so this was our way in and then the next one will be for our way out from uh, skardu to islamabad I know there is a lot of criticism about PIA that the airline was banned. This is unsafe. Um, I mean, all my occasion whenever I flew with PIA, it was really pleasant flights for me, all the time. You know, I know there are a lot of things that happen on international routes. Um, I mostly flew international routes as well, usually from Abu Dhabi, from Dubai. I flew with with them to domestic as well, and. I mean I found them all the time on time departure never had any issue maybe I was a lucky one uh, even the in flight services for them it was really good this is a short flight so this was our way out of skardu and this time uh, we had this uh, PIA library and that's also uh, Airbus 320 uh, again it's very scenic while you're boarding you can really have some fresh breath enjoy the majestic views of this beautiful mountains and started boarding on time and the flight arrived from islamabad on time despite it was a little bit of off weather uh, i was kind of bit uh, has done that it's a uh, it's a little bit cloudy and it was raining and it might be delayed but uh, surprising the flight came on time we were supposed to take off at 8 o'clock and we took off right at 8 o'clock which was really nice and the flight again for 45 minutes beautiful when we took off I was seated on the wrong side again because the views of the mountains were on the left side for all this Nanga Parbat and a lot of uh, climbers I have had from a lot of them from Italy from the other part of the world who come and uh, basically travel in and out from Skardu. It's forty five minutes after we were landing into Islamabad again on time departure. The flight was pleasant, no turbulence at all, no issues at all. Uh, landing into Islamabad is pretty smooth. Again, when you come from this north part from the Uh, drop temperature all the way to the heat it was already like 32 degrees in islamabad and you feel like okay you know back to reality and then it was time to disembark into islamabad and uh, after this wonderful and scenic views of the flight i will share the other vlogs where did we stay where did we go and all the beautiful places that we have been to so this was a vlog about uh, pakistan international airline uh, from islamabad to skardu and skardu to Islamabad uh, until we meet on the next vlog again thank you so much for watching and take care allah peace